everybody, it's Scoop Girl, and today we're going to be going over how to do the Heart of Kendra card necklace from the cartoon of Witch. Now, I had a hard time finding a lot of the items I needed, and I was very happy that I did have some leftover material from when I previously bought material uh, back in the day. So, I do have uh, these purple beads. I also have white ones, but today we're going to be working with an 18 millimeter. These are 20 millimeter, and I don't remember where I bought these. Um, I want to say I bought them at Michael's, but they no longer carry them in stock. I don't know why they don't. Uh, I have three of these that I made already. I have this one here, this cool black one. I like the little like spot on there. I don't know if you can see the little the little spot on there that kind of gives it a little design. And then we have this gold and pink one, and we have this white, almost a see-through white and red one. I made this a couple of years ago for the holiday because I didn't have anything to wear for the holiday, and I really liked how that looked. Uh, so I made that, and it wasn't like these. They weren't cracks, which I thought was kind of cool that one of them was kind of the odd one out. I was like, hey, I'm going to make one. Um, but today we're going to be making one with just the 18 millimeter bead. And these two, like, iridescent rainbow colored ones are 6 millimeter bead. And that's going to be what we're working with. We're not going to be making a chain or anything like that for the tutorial. Um, we are using this wire here. And it is 20 gauge. It is a artistic wire, silver plated. Now, for anybody that has a allergic reaction to any type of metal, like, this is silver plated. And you can kind of almost see the difference, maybe not in my lighting, but I can in by looking at them. You can kind of tell this is non-tarnish wire, like this one here, the gold one here. This one is non-tarnish gold wire, and I'm just kind of throwing it everywhere. Um, and this one is just silver plated, so it's a little bit better for you if you have any, say, allergies. But this one is still nice, even if you... If you want something, you know, cheaper and it's not as, um, you know, so nice, but not as expensive. Actually, this one I got online, it was only a six yard of it, and I got it for like five bucks on Amazon, so it was a good deal when I bought it, so I'm rushing to the store trying to buy it, and I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to order online, and that's what I did. So, here we have our wires. I have already pre-cut them in half. And they're about mm, almost half as long as my mouse pad, and I got a long mouse pad here. I will need to clean it again after this because it's getting kind of dirty, but that's okay. Um, and yeah, this is the wire. So we're gonna like a little hole here. We're gonna slip both of the wires through the hole. And it's nice that it has a big enough hole where you can actually do that because not a lot of these have. Um, the big wire, the big hole on them, unless you use a bigger wire. You can do a bigger wire on that. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, was Witch made by Disney, or was it made by another company? Because I can't remember, and it's been a long time since I watched the show. <laughs> so somebody let me know in the comments down below if it was by Disney, or Warner Brothers, or some other odd company that's no longer around. Because um, I really enjoyed the cartoon. I didn't, I don't, it's been a long time since I watched it. And anyway, here is how we have, we have one short wire and one long wire. I'm kind of, because we need it long enough to make the loop on the top. If you see on this one, I made a loop on the top. So that is what I'm trying to make. So, I'm going to move my camera. Trying to move it close enough so you can see it. Alright, so I am kind of bending this. Turn off autofocus. I don't know, sometimes autofocus is really good and sometimes it just really annoys me. Alright, we gotta bend this over and around. See, I'm, I'm bending it down. And then I'm looping this around onto the bottom underneath the bead. And then I am going to turn it over and under the two wires. I'm wrapping around both 
on the wires. I'm hoping you can see that even without the autofocus on. I'm hoping you can tell. And then I'm kind of folding it over and around again. I kind of do it like two or three times. And there we go. And we will not need the access wire here, so I'll be cutting that off. Take my clippers, clipping that off if I can. Sometimes they don't want to clip right away. There we go. And then I am bringing this up, bending it back around, try to bend it back around. It will be, it will be very um, movable wire, so it will move a lot on you if you're not used to flexible wire. And you want to try to make it flush to the wire so it won't poke into your skin. Alright, I think I got it. Sometimes I don't get it right away, but it's, um, I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if it's actually trying to focus or not. Um, but this wire here is kind of flush to the bottom part. And then this is going to be our loop, our, our two loops at the top. Basically is what this is going to be. So I'm going to start by bending the wire. And you can bend it any way you want at a 90 degree angle. And then you want to bring this, I'm moving my beads, uh, bring this up around. I don't have to be perfect, um, but I try to have it be like a round shape anyway. And it will still move through the wire. That is one of the good and bad things about this wire. It will move. <laughs> even, even when you don't want it to move, it'll move. Alright, so I'm grabbing a hold of it. And I'm kind of turning it over. I'm pushing it down a little more. And see how big it is on the hole? Like so. I'm holding it with the flat nose. And I'm pulling it under and around like so I don't know if you can tell but it's like through the wire here and then I'm gonna bring it around again and pull it through see got the wire in pull it through again I'm gonna do it one more time And then the rest of this part will be our loop. Now for this part, I try to make them facing the opposite direction of whatever else is on the bead. Like say, this part here, I want it not facing this part. So this part, I'm going to bend down over the bead. Like so, so it's kind of like the other one. And then I'm going to take the round nose. And I'm turning it like an arrow, like that, so it kind of looks like an arrow. And then you want to hold down on it with your thumb or finger or whatever one you're most comfortable with. And you wrap the rest of this around the top part. And you want to pull and tug again. No, 
don't mind me, I'm redoing that. And that did not look nice. Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of do a little sneaky trick, and I'm gonna go under the wire instead of over. So I'm kind of bending that out a little more, and I may need to have to hold on to... It looks kind of messy. Yes, it does. I know. I'm going to straighten it out. Get my straightener. Alright, straighten that. Alright. Then bend that up. Bend it up. Out of the way. And then we're going to, like, put it underneath this wire. If we can! It wants to move with the wire. I don't want it to move with the wire. You are not allowed to move. Dropping my other my other beans like dropping on me. Oop. Nope, not what I want to do. Right. Sorry, this is out of the frame. Gonna be out of the frame for just a minute. And if nobody has any of these straighteners for the wire, I recommend it hitting them because they do work. We're going to try this again. Alright, bring it down. Down by the bottom of the bead. I try to keep the other ones out of the way, but it is very hard not to get them in the way. I'm bringing that back up around. This one is being finicky with me. Alright. Finally got it, guys. Finally got it. It took me a minute. <laughs> be a hot minute, uh, but I wire wrapped the top part of it. And I got this extra wire I gotta top off, cut, cut off, and then this part I gotta bend over. So we're gonna cut that off. Bend this over. Alright. And then for this part, I kind of smush it together with my fingers. Because it's soft enough you can do that.
And then I am going to grab this. And then I'm bringing it up and around. And then I kind of squeeze it together again. And there is your first loop. Now it might, like, how this one is kind of not sticking down. Sometimes I like to try and bend it so that way it will sometimes. Or I just kind of pull the other wire. as much as I can to help make it stay in place because I don't want to stay in place. Sorry, I'm out of frame. So we got our first loop here and then like so. It might be a little bigger than what I want, but that's okay. And then we're going to be taking the longer string of the wire and slipping that bead on. And I'm bending that wire, the other extra wire out of the way because we're going to be just kind of doing the same thing where we flip it over like so. And then we bend it down on the wire, like so. And we turn it. And I probably do this like two or three times. And I tug and pull, so it's going to kind of look like that. I am like way out of the frame. My camera does not want to focus. Sorry. And then my other bead went on the floor. Found it. Yay. Win. Alright. We're slipping the other one. And I always like two on them instead of one. It just makes it look a lot nicer with two instead of one. Sorry, I'm hitting my light. I got a lot of extra wire here. But we're going to be using it, so that is okay. And then I'm kind of doing the same thing. Wrapping that around. And you see here. And we're not going to be using any more of this... One on the side, so we're going to be cutting it. And then I'm going to flatten it out. Like so, and voila! Almost pretty much done, really. Now for this part, because it's so long on this part, I like to make a little loop on the end, which I'm going to try and show you without it, like, whacking everything I have on the desk here. So we're going to be turning it at a 90 degree angle again. And then we're making a little loop on the bottom. And we turn it over like so.
a little loop there. And then I take these to hold it in place while I turn it over and under again. And then I kind of, I try to line it up with the other wire on here. And it doesn't always work, but I try to have it line up. And then I wrap it around in the middle. And then I loop it over again. Alright, so now that I got that all looped on the bottom here, I'm going to be using this to make our other loop. So we do the same thing, we bend over the bead to make the shape. And then we grab our three nodes, and we turn it, and do an arrow, bring it back down, and then we wrap it around one more time. And then we cut that off. We don't need it. All these have cutters on them, so it doesn't matter what cutter you use, really. And then we flatten it out. Like so. And then we will be doing the same thing with this one. We bend it, squish it to where you like it, and we grab these pliers and we bend it over. And then I squish it a little bit again. And we have our pendant. And I hope you guys like the tutorial. And if you want me to do another one, I can later on. And these are all the ones I have made so far. And my thing is just really not focusing today. No, focus! Focus, focus. These are all the ones I have made within the last couple of days. It does not want to focus. I'm going to try backing it up. Hold on. It is being finicky. Finicky, finicky. Maybe if I turn off a light. That's too dark. Too dark. Okay, sorry for the lighting. Alright, I'm going to put them down here. Maybe they'll focus when I put them down here. Alright, it's not dirty. Why is my camera not focusing? Yay! Alright, we got it. <laughs> I got it to focus. Alright, sorry for that. I don't know what it was doing. Um, but yeah, this is the one we, I made today. And I made this one today. See, they're all going to be slightly different. None of them are going to be exactly the same. But if you want to know the size of it, it's almost the size of my finger. On length. So... And you can just have a, like, a chain already made, like this one is a chain I already have made. And I'm going to see if it'll fit. It'll. Yay, it does. And there you got it. There we have it. 
a heart of candy card on a nice on a nice black chain. I think I have another one on a white chain. Um, and that'll be in the screenshots. So let me know in the comments down below what you want to see me make next. Um, I just haven't done a whole lot of craft videos because I never like getting everything out. Because then I gotta put everything away. <laughs> um, but I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if I reach to 100 subscribers, I may give a few of these away for free. I don't know yet. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do, though. Or I might just go ahead and sell them for $10 and thing with a chain. Uh, it's what I normally sell them for. Internationally, it is a little hard because internationally shipping is very expensive here in America. I think I had one one time where... It cost me $25 to ship it to, like, Norway or something. And I'm all like, okay, that one's a little, a little expensive. <laughs> More than I thought for $10. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, it may only be in the United States for these. I am sorry to say. Uh, but, again, if you have your own craft store in, in, your, in, in your location, try to see if you'll have an 18 millimeter bead. Or a 20 millimeter bead is the size you want, and a 6 millimeter bead. Um, any color, shape, or size, well, not really sure. You want either an 18 or a 20. Because I think 20 is the best, but it's really hard to find either one of those. Um, but either way, um, check with your local craft store and ask them if they have those kind of beads. And I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and I will speak to you all later. Like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I have a few other videos over here on either side that you might like to watch. And yeah, um, just let me know what you want to see in the next video. I have a couple other sense videos coming up. And maybe another craft video. I don't know yet. Uh, it might be like a painting or something. <laughs> um, but let me know in the comments down below what you want. And I will talk to you later.